It's time! Up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, let's start with the kicking technique because it is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph a thing, and I think what really jumps out of the film room for me is his ability to get his foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. A lot of guys just don't even see it coming, and he doesn't discriminate. He'll attack that lead leg. He'll go to the body. Beautiful head kick upstairs as well. The technique is really what sets up everything to this guy's game, and his opponent certainly weary of what's coming back with those kicks tonight. Ah, yes, here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and as Dana White calls him, the father of modern mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee. Making the walk tonight, you can make the argument no man has had as much of an influence on UFC fighters as Bruce Lee has. Quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Man, it would have been great to see what Bruce Lee could have done inside the UFC. He is making the walk tonight. This guy is amongst one of the most elusive fighters as far as his defense is concerned. Extremely difficult to hit. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height, but the same reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of New York, New York, Mad Intention. And now we're going to see the opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. Dragon! All right, good thing to lose in the locker room. I want you to build my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out for This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. Yep. I'm very excited. Yep. And with that, we are underway from the United Center here in the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois. He landed that inside leg kick. Connects with the punch there. Huge oh, uppercut wow. misses. to the body by Lee. He's got good accuracy on that jab. How about that shin? While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kicks to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Oh. Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. He's got a beautiful leg kick. And he doesn't get it. Kick lands forward there. Oh, 
tries some serious power in that kick, but misses. Another shot lands upstairs. That one hurt. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Didn't quite connect. And he connects there. Even when you block those, they'll still stun you. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Lands to the body. Caught him with a punch. Good defense there. but unable to connect. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Oh, good combination. He hit him with an axe kick, very nicely done. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Oh, he missed that kick. Well, he got his head snapped back there, Joe. The straight punch lands flush to the head. And again, he's just not doing things defensively that you want to see. Move that upper body. Get that head off of the center line. Right now, he's just leaning right into his opponent's range. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And he connects with the punch. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Trying to pass here. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Posture's up. Showing some good defense here on the ground by controlling that arm. Less than a minute to go now in our opening round. Excellent sweep. Trying to spin to the back. 45 seconds remain in the round. Now he's moved back into full guard. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, nice punch there. Wow! Wow! He's clearly hurt. Head kick! Counters now left hook to the head lane. Shots coming towards his head. And there's a nice jab. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at that again. And let's get a better look at it from a different angle. Holding it down for us here. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? All right, round two. Starting off this round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's gonna want to move and avoid taking damage early. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Absolutely. 
Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the Lee body. Gets caught with that punch. Both men landing in that exchange. Good shot. Oh, right left combo by Lee. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Well placed kick there by Lee. How about that shin? Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. He got tagged there. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Back to the feet now. Got double underhooks. Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. Neither fighter's really doing anything. Lee's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite groove starting to form on that right side. Just over three minutes now to go. He lands a big shot from the bottom. And he gets reversed. Oh, look at that. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Lee. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Big body punch. Excellent movement here on the ground. And pummels under and out of double underhooks. And again, he lands another takedown there. So really scoring points here, and the takedowns are starting to pile up. Taking this fight exactly where he thought he could and exactly where he wants it to be. Couldn't agree with you more. All right, let's go. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Deep breath there and reset. Good shot. Yeah, and here he goes again. Again. Postures up here. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Tries to move to side control, but cannot. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, oh, constantly you don't staying want to busy. Be anywhere near his guillotine. This could be trouble. He's in full guard here, looking for the guillotine choke. What he needs to do is he needs to wrap his arm around the back of his opponent's head, slide his forearm underneath. That's and it. That's it. We're good. Set up the choke, completed the job, and got the victory. Well, yeah, Joe. You could tell he's been working on his submission game. That was really a choke that was set up perfectly. He got it sunk in deep, and his opponent was going to go to sleep if he didn't tap out, so he took the lesser of two evils, and he's forced to tap. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks, Bruce Lee, Lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to rue the day. That was once again the case in this one. How about Bruce Lee?